welcome to our check-in. I'm gonna take off my mask because I'm away from all my other coworkers and I'm filming myself today. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm a children's educator here at Lewis Gender Botanical Garden and I'm standing right in front of one of George Sherwood's sculptures um, from the Wind, Waves, and Light exhibit at the garden right now. And the reason why is because we're gonna be talking about weather today and I'm gonna show you how to make a wind sock and a rain gauge. Okay, so first I wanted to show you how I made my wind sock. And as you can see, the wind starting to pick it up to show you which way the uh, wind direction is. And so I'll show you how I made this. First, I started with a stick and then I used a light material like these um, paper towels. Uh, some types of paper or other materials are a little bit too heavy. The wind won't be able to pick it up unless it's very, very windy. So I picked something pretty light so that even on just a breezy day, you could see which direction the breeze was going. And so what I did was I rolled it up just like this and put two pieces of tape here to secure this together. Okay, so I've put my two pieces of tape to hold my wind sock together like a big straw. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and cut strips like, sort of like streamers to help um, give our wind sock a little more lift and movement. So I can cut these strips as skinny or as wide as I want. And then I will need a place to tie it to the string. So I um, chose the uh, tape part of the paper just so it didn't rip as easily. So I'm going to hole punch right on my tape. And then I use some really thin kite string to tie my wind sock to the string. And so that's how you make a wind sock. Okay, so I've got my wind sock and I can see that the wind is blowing that way. So I used a compass app on my phone. You can use a compass, you can use a map, or you can use landmarks or even the position of the sun to know what direction it is which. And so because the sun rises in the east and sets in the west in the morning, if you go outside and the sun is coming up that way, you know that that way is east. And then it rises up, up, up and sets in the west. So I drew my compass rose. I know that north where I am is to my right and I'm facing west. So if I hold up my compass rose with north facing this way and west facing this way and I hold up my windsock, I can see that the wind is blowing from north to south. And so we call that a north wind. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a rain gauge. I used a empty plastic bottle. I cut the top off of it. I put tape on it just because sometimes the plastic can be sharp and I don't want it to um, cut my cut me. And then I added some rocks to the bottom so that it can stand up and it won't get blown over if the wind blows. And I put some water up to what's called the zero line in my bottle. And the zero line basically and make sure that any measurement that you take after um, above the zero line is rain so you get a more accurate reading of your rainfall over a given period of time and the way that we measure rain is in inches or centimeters so I used a ruler and started at my zero line and I drew the ruler on my bottle, centimeters on this side and inches on this side. And then I can put the top upside down to act as a funnel 
and to keep the water that's in there and the rain that falls um, into our bottle from evaporating back out once it goes in. So you can use your rain gauge and your windsock to record uh, wind direction and rainfall. It's really important to know how much rain we're getting, especially as gardeners and um, farmers need to know how much rain there is to know um, how much to water their plants. So thank you so much for joining our check-in this week and I hope you will um, check back in on Friday for a virtual story time with Miss Tarnisha. She is going to be reading a weather-themed story on Friday. So thanks again. Have a good week.